Well, it's a great pleasure to be here this afternoon uh, to present uh, the, uh, our recent research in vaccine development and uh, also some of the achievements and directions uh, for the future of a HIV research unit. Um, so, there are more than 35 million uh, people living with HIV worldwide, with nearly half of them being women. The epidemic continues uh, to spread in the absence of preventative vaccine. Um, and is still associated with significant mortality uh, worldwide and is not sparing the UK. Can I have the next one? The AIDS disease um, caused by HIV has been transformed uh, by the advent of antiretroviral therapy. You see here many pills and they are used in combination. Uh, in the early uh, years, patients had to take many pills every day uh, to try and control this virus. We can now treat the disease with sometimes one pill once a day. Progress has been intense. The combination of these drugs are able to target several of um, the um, part of the virus uh, replication uh, cycle. And the virus basically attaches to a healthy cell, which is a CD4 T cells. And the drugs can uh, act at different level and inhibit several uh, different types of enzymes. Um, it is, it is a, a, a miracle what happens in terms of the potency of this combination of antiretroviral therapy as with the control of the virus we were able to stop AIDS uh, developing and all the very appalling infections and uh, cancers which were associated with it. Can I have the next one? On this slide you can see the impact of antiretroviral therapy before treatment and after treatment in this patient. Next one, please. The World Free has been at the forefront of this epidemic in terms of research and treatment um, with a dedicated HIV unit since the early 1990s called the Inchas and Day Center. Please, the next one. The World Free um, HIV cohort study has been an invaluable tool uh, to inform in terms of the natural history of HIV and the impact of treatment, as you've seen on previous slides. It has published uh, an enormous number of publications in international journals. The center has been at the forefront uh, of the development of new drugs in phase two and three programs, and also pioneered studies looking into the possibility of an AIDS cure. The HIV Bio Resource, which is headed by Dr. Fiona Burns, will represent an invaluable tool for research in the future. Please, next one. As shown on the next two slides, you see that's what has happened in the UK in terms of death, AIDS, and hospitalization. With the advent of antiretroviral therapy in combination, it has been dramatic. And if we look at the next slide, please, you can see that at the time of one or two antiviral compounds, it didn't work that well. And then you had more and more antiretroviral use uh, over the years with combination of three or more drugs. Next one, please. In terms of our, our ongoing research, um, I have mentioned here three main uh, priorities. Um, it is still one of our priorities to continue to develop drugs. These drugs should be um, uh, administered more easily, they should be more potent, and should have a better uh, tolerability. A search for a, pre a preventative uh, vaccine represents an urgent priority, as only 40% of patients who need treatment access it worldwide. Finally, uh, we are doing with uh, international collaboration work on viral reservoirs within the HIV cure uh, agenda. Next one, please. When we consider the need for a preventative vaccine, why is it not available as yet? Uh, if you consider all the progress in uh, vaccine development for other viruses. Next one, please. Well, there are many uh, factors which I put on these slides. The variability of the virus is, is, is a very important one. And also, uh, the corridor of protections um, are not totally clear. Also, do we need a vaccine which is uh, active at the, viral of, uh, at the viral portal of entry rather than in the blood? Next one, please. 
After several failures in vaccine development and uh, very large studies looking at the efficacy of these uh, vaccine candidate, a glimpse of hope in 2009 occurred from what is known, what is known by, uh, as the, the Thai trial, which was actually run by the American army in Thailand. It used two types of vaccines. One was a viral vector and the other one a protein which boosted the effect of uh, the prime. For the first time, there was some degree of protection. It was about 31% one year. And unlike other vaccines, it didn't seem to be associated with neutralizing antibodies, but rather binding antibodies to the envelope of um, the virus. Please, next one. Our strategy here at the Royal Free has been um, to uh, try and develop a vaccine producing antibodies uh, which work at uh, the portal of entry as well using an envelope, um, an envelope uh, GP41 and the vaccine candidate is called UGR7C as it was initially uh, um, uh, developed at the University of Granada. Next one please. We decided that we needed blood and vaginal sampling and we went about it by advertising in the uh, free press that you know well and it was extraordinarily uh, effective. Next one please. We were able to recruit 24 uh, women very quickly. We immunized them with three uh, injections and we were very happy to see that our primary endpoints were fulfilled. There were no safety concern and in terms of immunogenicity we had a strong IgG responses to the candidate vaccine in blood and responses in vaginal secretions. What well, we don't know yet, because these um, uh, tests are, being, are, are ongoing in a, a couple of labs, uh, whether these immune responses could be protective and inhibiting the virus, and therefore further work is needed. Can I have the next one, please? We were absolutely enthralled by the enthusiasm of our volunteers. And I must say, we, we decided to run a questionnaire, which was a blinded questionnaire, sent to the volunteers to know why, what were their motivation and experience during the trial. Can I have the next one, please? And it was very interesting and very warming to see um, uh, how activist uh, our, our volunteers were and basically backing our research work uh, thoroughly. Can I have, please, the next one? Um, of course, I cannot, uh, we, c we couldn't have done all this work without all our volunteers and all the collaborators in Europe, in our European consortium, uh, Euronode 41. Also, locally, there's been wonderful support uh, from uh, our research nurses, the Department of Virology, uh, the HIV unit, uh, Tom Robinson ran um, the uh, questionnaire and also, of course, the research of the Department of Infection and the support from uh, Professor Johnson and Professor Hanstaus. Thank you very much.